Hello, this is Matt from Tracy and Matt.co.uk and for unboxings.com here I have the LG GS290 which is a new addition to the ever popular cookie range of devices from LG. Uh, this is the Cookie Fresh. We're just going to have a quick unbox for you, take a look and uh, see what the device has to offer before we do the full review. So, handset on top there which we're going to come back to in a few moments and also in the box it's a fairly typical LG box design so in the box we have a standard USB to micro USB sync and charge cable a UK 3 pin plug with a USB connector on the bottom obviously for charging the handset and we have a wired headset which uh, is a standard four pole, three and a half mil jack on one end. You have a length of cable and an inline microphone, uh, complete with a push button. It's uh, not the most attractive looking design. And the headphones themselves, which are uh, quite lightweight and plastic, and uh, certainly not fantastic. They're um, probably okay if you actually want to use them as a wired headset, but I dare say that you'll want to use your own headphones if you want to listen to a lot of music. And we have uh, the user guide, which for some reason is packed in a piece of plastic and is sort of like a leaflet style. It's pretty lightweight, not much to read there. Um, but we'll come back to that later. Finally, we have the battery, which I'm going to want to unpack anyway. Uh, is 900 milliamp hours, quite small and quite lightweight. Let's move all these other bits out of the way. Okay, so we look at the handset itself. On the front we have a 3 inch display which is 240 by 400 pixels. It is touch screen, totally touch screen. Um, we have a large, fairly large speaker there at the top. Underneath we have what looks like a D-pad but I believe it's only just one button in the centre, like a menu button. And then the red and green phone keys and the hang up button there is doubling up as the power button. Over on the left hand side, if I just peel off this sticker. So... You can see an up and down volume control rocker and just on the top corner we do have an eyelet there that we can connect up a lanyard or a phone charm. Then we have a cover over a micro SD card socket which supports up to 16 gig of micro SD HD memory cards, not 32 though. On the bottom just a tiny little hole for the microphone and over on the right hand side again we have a sticker over there, we'll peel that off. Uh, we have a series of buttons, we have a dedicated camera button a lock button which I assume will probably be just to sort of put the handset into sleep, turn the screen off and then another cover, this time over a micro USB socket so we can obviously sync and charge uh, with just that one socket. Finally on the top we have a 3.5mm headphone connector, obviously we can use the wired headset that comes with it or our own 3.5mm headphones um, should we choose to do so. On the back just a simple 2 megapixel autofocus camera um, nothing terribly clever about it. It's uh, sort of fairly, fairly rudimentary. There's no flash though either, unfortunately. Back cover pops off uh, like so, and then we have space for a SIM card underneath. And obviously the battery pops in uh, one way round or another, or that way round, like so. And then the back cover just slides back on. Fairly simple. It's a quite a lightweight handset actually. Let's just power on. And as I say, 3 inch touchscreen display on the front is 240 by 400 pixels. Uh, it has a flash user interface, which we're going to see in a few moments. Uh, 16 gig micro SD cards are supported. Only 40 meg of internal memory though, so you're definitely going to want to use a memory card. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. It does have Bluetooth 2 though with A2DP support, which is pretty decent. Uh, touchpad calibration is required. Let's just do that. Okay, and it is a resistive touchscreen rather than capacitive, so I'm using my fingernail to actually press it. Save calibration, yep, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and as you can see, this flash style user interface that we have here, um, they call it cartoon style. It's very similar to other LG handsets, uh, functions in much the same way. We have these widgets on the display here, and buttons or uh, icons underneath. So you get your phone dialer, and that uh, works okay. I mean, you can use your your finger, middle of your finger. It doesn't require much pressure, and it is a fairly sensitive touchscreen, I have to say. But even you can see here, there is a 
a cartoony element to the way that the numbers and the uh, letters are actually presented sort of like a chalkboard almost it's quite cool so it's a little different anyway and as you can see now that the phone is on the keys underneath have illuminated to be green and red so um, hang up answer and hang up buttons uh, effectively and when the backlight turns off they uh, just go back to being pale or plain white uh, okay press and hold to unlock so let's just come out of there in the middle we have it's asking me for insert a sim card that's your, your contacts uh, or we can add contacts obviously don't have any on the here at the moment and we have messages and it's pretty standard in terms of what you expect to find from LG uh, it's again complaining I don't have a sim card and then over on the side we have all of our um, icons for all of the installed applications uh, we can scroll through and you'll notice that they scroll en masse unlike some of the other LG's where there's just one row scrolls at a time all of the icons are scrolling together let's press for one, all the icons do scroll together and what we have in here, let's take a look at some of the things uh, we've got an alarm clock, Google search, screen settings, phone settings, uh, email, music. We have an FM radio, which is quite cool, and a mu movie studio, uh, Bluetooth, and some games and apps. Take a look at games and apps. Okay, so things like Block Breaker, Ferrari GT, uh, Real Football, that's quite cool. Pushing the middle button also bring up, brings up favourite apps, so you uh, you've got the gallery, apps and games. Uh, we can edit them here. So we can add to our favourites, which I'm bother to do right now. Also we can swipe across. And it's like a cube. So you have, um, well, it's like a cube, but it's only got three sides. Um, as you can see it only rotates around though. It's not the easiest to swipe. I guess you kind of get used to it. I don't want to know about Life Square right now. But I guess you kind of get used to it. It just takes a little bit of uh, time to actually get used to the way the swipe works. That's a little bit better. Uh, in terms of rest specification, I think that's pretty pretty much it, to be honest with you. Uh, 330 hour battery life is quoted from the um, 900 milliamp hour battery and up to five and a half hours of talk time. Uh, we do have a web browser, but sadly we don't have Wi-Fi. Um, but it is a sort of fairly entry level handset it's available in other colours as well, obviously this is the plain black but uh, also available in green and I believe blue um, probably red as well but um, I've only seen it in the uh, the green but uh, it's pretty cool uh, we'll have a full review for you over the next couple of weeks of the LG GS290 or the new LG Cookie Fresh so don't forget to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash Tracy and Matt. And I have some more videos and reviews for you on tracyandmatt.co.uk over the next couple of days. But for now, thanks for watching. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives. So working with unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.